I don't want to. I don't want to get political, but mm -hmm. I'm, I'm gonna get political. Mm -hmm. You know what I find interesting? What's that? In elementary school, I I noticed that like my school wasn't afraid to, I guess, talk about Native American history, mm -hmm. and I I was very in, intrigued by that. How? <laughs> <laughs> wow, that was cruel. Um, how they. We, it was it was basically lumped in with like prehistory. Yeah, I guess. Um, they're like, oh, there's different culture, and, uh, the the uh, people, ancient people. Mm -hmm. Um, and the I think the fact that they talked about it at, at all is interesting to note. Yeah. And then when you hit middle school, and then you start learning like a timeline of history, mm -hmm. like you learn, you learn like ancient history, and then like. Uh, like like early U.S. history mm -hmm. and then like modern U.S. history. Then it then it then it's like it like doesn't acknowledge Native Americans. Yeah, it gets at very all. left behind, doesn't it? And it's 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 interesting how they're they're cha they're changed. They go from a they go from basically a primitive race to a uh, like a. Like a species species of animal that like that were the, like the settlers had to uh, like eliminate in order to progress yeah. their their society. And it's like hmm, yeah, very inter very very interesting perspectives in American history. Right, yeah. <laughs> they portrayed like, kind of like as a as an obstacle almost. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, it's fucked up, isn't it? It's, it really it really is. And I I don't think uh, I don't think I'll ever get. Get the, the the reasoning why, mm -mm. you know, it's just uh, it's probably because it's advantageous not to acknowledge their plight. I don't want kids to feel bad for being white. <laughs> Which there's a way around that, you know. You don't you can teach that stuff without also like instilling a feeling of guilt. Well, the thing the thing is, in in the classes that I've taken mm -hmm. that have that are like that, they're like a, a social problems class. Yeah. Or like a like a cultural diversity class like mm -hmm. they don't they don't really um treat they treat the differences between uh different races as like uh something to be upset about mm -hmm. you know something to i guess uh what am i what am i trying to say like feel guilty uh, guilty i guess yeah um which I think is exactly what you said. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, no, so it's it's difficult to navigate because there's an intrinsic feeling that kind of comes with learning about racism. Right. Um, of guilt, you know, uh, that is just like, just because of the way that the fucking, that the history went is, down. Yeah. Um, and uh, it's, there's not it's really it would be really difficult to strike the balance of teaching that what happened is bad and what happened is what happened and also explaining like but it's fine <laughs> you know what i mean because it's not yeah. fine but like the burden of responsibility is going to fall onto those kids you know what i mean I, like, um, I, I i just don't i just don't understand like i i understand why kids might feel that yeah but i don't understand why that that factor is so, I guess, um, like it's it's like we it's it's the it's like the complete barrier to to learning about it. You know, mm -hmm. it's like just because it might happen means that we can't teach about it ever. Mm -hmm. I think that's I think that's strange. I think that's really odd. Yeah. And it doesn't doesn't make sense to me. Yeah. Well, um, prevents him from asking questions that. Would be difficult to answer, in the sense that and like Lord, Lord knows we can't have kids asking questions. Yeah, that's you're, you're done in this. That's room, really what they try to avoid. I think is 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 um like any sort of doubt in a kid's mind, or like I don't know. It's hard to explain. Also, it does get political to talk about it, but um like what like did, you did, and I can understand that like of the all the terrible shit that I happened to. Black people and Native American people. What the fuck? There's nothing there? Okay, whatever. <laughs> it's a fake, fake breakable wall. I, I guess. Um, I, don't th I think there's like a joy pendant in there or something. It doesn't. Fuck that. Fuck you. Um, so, like, we can acknowledge that that shit happens, but we can also, like, we know how to navigate the world in spite of that. 
You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, what it what it means that that happened, pretty much, is what I'm saying. Um, as in, like, what life is like now for disenfranchised people, black or Native American, um, and how... I don't know. It's just I, I think it's just a, a teaching of reality, especially. You know what I mean? Yeah, I think I, I just don't think it's impossible to teach American history without without kids like being traumatized yeah. or you know feeling like oh the white guys are the villains actually. Yeah. Oh no. But also, um, even, I I even personally think that like if that happens, that's just one of the. It's just like kind of one of the parts of growing up. And learning about the world, you know, because what, it's it's also easy to get over that fact. What's this, what's especially crazy is the people who are so angered about uh, about like teaching uh, critical race theory mm -hmm. are the people who were literally like wh whose political involvement literally changed the racial like. I don't know, makeup of the country, yeah. I guess, you know, like those are, those are people who were part of like the countercultural movement and mm -hmm. like all that sorts of stuff during the, during the sixties and seventies. Right. And it's like, oh, so as soon as, as soon as other people are starting to question their, the society that you set up is when it's not okay. Okay. Right. I get it now, yeah. you know, and it's like no hypocrisy there guys. Mm -hmm. So it's very oh fuck yeah yes. yeah there, I it, um I always think about the colorblindness thing we were talking about this last time or not last time but last time we were hanging out oh yeah where um oh yeah <laughs> I forgot all like that. I think that there's like the default position for a lot of people to have is to uh, claim that they're colorblind and where like they they think like oh it doesn't matter what race someone is everybody's human but to to think like that is also to deny that like it's to live in ignorance yeah it's a it's an ignorant position to have because then you're saying then you're essentially saying oh um you're just, black you're just, people aren't disenfranchised you yeah know, they're just like they're just like you and me yeah, you're just just saying like nothing happens which on average they are i mean right like like that's just the way that it is that, that is that is the way that is because and that is that happened in history that is the merit of like a, a like a colorblind theory is that it like actually um you, you know like it, it does it does get you to not see race as something to, to to <laughs> oh, oh don't get me started <laughs> um it's 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 like i don't know it doesn't place an over like overarching importance on race mm -hmm. and it's like that is that is what you that is what you would want in a in like a i don't know a modern society like an egalitarian society right, right. The world but like the thing the thing is is that yeah it's 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 ignorant yeah and it's just not it's not correct mm -mm. hurry 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 oh <laughs> that, was, that was close That'd be fucking scary if you were just if you were just running on what you thought was solid ground and then just instantly water just took yeah. you, like overtook you. <laughs> and good on good on Link for being able to hold himself up after yeah. he gets after he gets overtaken by the water. But water overtakes you. Oh, it's, it's kind of it's kind of fucking deep, isn't it? Yeah, <laughs> just like the water is. Oh, what were we saying about black people? <laughs> They're. I mean, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get Michael's you, side eye. That's the, that's that's so funny. Like I could, I, it doesn't matter what I what I would have said if yeah. I just if I just went you started there. Started with they, yeah, <laughs> with them. It's like what? what? You, you, you stop. You drop the chip that you're about to put in your mouth. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> your that, mouth is wide yeah, open. Yeah, it's that. My favorite. <laughs> I think my favorite, the funniest, like like pose somebody can be in is like a candid when they're like interrupted <laughs> while taking a bite of something <laughs> you know what I'm talking about like they're so shocked that, that they're I, like, I, oh. especially if they're holding like a sandwich like they're about to put in their mouth like, <laughs> they got a big wide mouth yeah. like, <laughs> what I love I love I love when they're like holding something and they drop it yeah like, like they're, they're, they're holding like a chip and that's like, a classic oh, and they, oh. you just hear the <laughs> of it anyway in your cultural diversity class we we were talking about how a, a way to avoid like to essentially essentially have affirmative action without it being 
the like the, the existing, I guess, because the 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 white people who get mad of affirmative action are like it's discriminatory against white people. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like if we're if we're supposed to be a society of equal race, then why is there something that benefits one race and not another? Oh sure. You know, it's it's a it's like a yeah, fair enough, but you don't know the context sort, right. of, sort of deal. Yeah. Um, and we 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 were thinking, like, if. If a our our example our example was of you know we live in we live in um, we, we live in like western central Wisconsin right so mm -hmm. we have a large population of Hmong people yeah but like es essentially what we what we thought of was this was this concept of changing the the requirements of the like position you're hiring. Um, to to something that would like exclude. <laughs> something that would exclude the people you don't want but also including the people that you do mm -hmm. so our example was like a like a counselor a school counselor mm -hmm. um they want the school the hypothetical school has like a large population of Hmong uh people mm -hmm. um and they want someone who can relate to the Hmong people uh one of the guys isn't on the platform um oh. um and like someone like who would ideally be Hmong, right? Um, but you know, just so it's just so they can understand the culture, I guess. Mm -hmm. And the the way that we decided was like in the in the job listing, you don't want like a okay. This requires other context. So like if you're hiring an electrician, right? Mm -hmm. You what you don't want from an electrician is someone who has like bad eyesight or like isn't good with their hands, right? Yeah. Right. Like I think that's perfect. I think that's perfectly logical. Like you're hiring an like an electrician. Um, you want to be able to make sure that they're actually capable of doing their job. Ex ex exactly. Yeah. And like if you are wanting a position for an electrician, that guy's fucking stealing your money. <laughs> Whatever, man, you can have it. That's okay. Um, you're you know you know if you're if you want an electrician for the job, you're not gonna get someone who isn't an electrician or whatever. Okay. Anyway. Isn't isn't capable of the job, you know. Mm -hmm. Um. So I thought. So we thought that like, oh, the same logic applies to like something that has like th that you would want someone of a different race for. Right. It's like you were talking about like a counselor for like a Hmong population, right? They want yeah. Like you wouldn't some, hire a white person to do that job. It, they wouldn't know. But yeah. But the thing is, you can't say we want a Hmong person for this job because okay. that's technically discriminatory. Right? Okay. Um, and. And and so the way you would get around that is saying, oh, we want someone, who, like in the in the job description, you'd say, oh, we want someone who is who like understands Hmong culture or like maybe can speak Hmong or mm -hmm. something like that. And in that description alone, you're saying the most ideal candidate would be someone who is Hmong. Right. Yeah. But if you are white and Hmong or <laughs> white, white and Hmong, white. <laughs> yeah. But if you're white and like a like I don't know fucking expert in Hmong culture, mm -hmm. that is also acceptable. Like you're also a candidate. Yeah. Because you wouldn't get the candidates who aren't well versed in Hmong culture who are applying for the job. You know. Right. Yeah. Um. You would get. You would. Like, you would get the solid candidates and the people like. Mostly, the most people who would be well versed in Hmong culture are, you know, probably Hmong. Mm -hmm. And uh, so that, that that was a that was a fun thought experiment in that class. Yeah. We uh, I took a ethnic literature class. Um, oh yeah, I think I took that same class just on really? a, <laughs> a different semester. Um, what did you what did you think of that class? Well, it was in it was actually probably my most interesting class that I had in high school. <laughs> um, that being said, it was still a class that I had in high school, so I was completely checked out of it, and I don't remember almost any part of it. That's okay. Um, other than we were talking about rappers, and uh, my teacher was like <laughs> naming rappers that have been like um, helpful in like social progression and like charitable and stuff, or like just sources of knowledge and she was like q-tip from a tribe called quest um i don't really know who he is but i was like you gotta be kidding me you don't know who freaking tip is man come on well i was like i yeah. should have been teaching the class <clears throat> no not really i mean but yeah let me know but like, <laughs> um so you got a friend now what if what if you were resorted you had were uh 
resorted to hopping as your only means of getting around. That would take a lot of energy. 